Welcome collectors and model train enthusiasts. You have joined me for an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In front of you is a Peterbilt 389 sleeper cab with a pneumatic tank trailer. Uh, this is a truck that I have wanted for as long as I can remember. Um, if we're talking pneumatic bulk tank trailers in HO scale anyway, or 187 scale, really previous to this, your only two options were to have one 3D printed through a company like Shapeways, for example, or to find one of the um, classic mint brass trailers. Uh, both of those can get very, very expensive, uh, particularly the, the CMC or the, the classic mint um, collectibles brass trailers. Those can get well over $1,000 now. So for most of us, it's nice to finally have a readily available mass produced to the consumer market bulk tank trailer that you can either display with the rest of your trucks in 187 scale or buy a fleet of these and put them on your model railroad layout. For example, if you have a asphalt or a concrete plant and uh, you want a fleet of these, or if you just want to have them out on your roadways throughout your model train layout, these vehicles are now available to you. Previous to the chrome tank that you see here, the first run was basically just a white tank. Those sold out seemingly overnight. They were really gone before they were available to most of us. So now the Chrome ones are available. Uh, I do think that they're going to be coming out with more colors as time goes on. I believe I read somewhere or saw that they might be doing an all blank, all black one, I should say. Um, so just keep an eye out. But anyway, this is a set that is available from Truck Stop Hobbies, which is where I got mine from. There is the business card. They have an eBay uh, page. They also have, of course, a website. There's the website right there. So if you want to purchase this truck, visit the website seen here, truckstophobbies1-87.com. Okay, here is the package that the model comes in. As you can see, there's really no commercial packaging other than just this plastic see-through sleeve. Underneath, you can see trucks and stuff. Uh, TNS truck models at AOL.com. I believe trucks and stuff as far as I can tell, is basically what Tonkin replicas used to be, uh, basically what, what they're known as now. Uh, they're out of Washington, as you can see at the bottom, and this version is stock number SPEC-016, Peterbilt Model 389 SC for sleeper cab with pneumatic tank, owner OP heartbeat scheme, in obviously orange. You can see the heartbeat scheme as denoted here with the graphics on the side of the truck. Now, I have a model railroad uh, attraction near me here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and they also have a gift shop in there. And I have been actively trying to get a fleet of these in for the gift shop there. And when that happens, if that happens, I plan on adding a lot more of these to my collection. Um, but time will tell if that actually does end up transpiring. So in the meantime, I end up picking up one of these just for the masses. So again, you guys can see one uh, with relatively, you know, in, in a relatively reasonable amount of time. So you can pick one up before these are all gone and uh, check out the review and see if this is something you want to add to your collection. So with all that information being said, let's go ahead and get one of these out of the box and take a closer look at it. At the time that I am filming this review, if you go to Truck Stop Hobby's website or if you visit their eBay page, there are several different truck and trailer combinations available with this new pneumatic tank trailer. Uh, mostly just different color variations with different tractors. Uh, there are a couple different licensed companies that are available. So again, just check out the website for that information. So with that, the truck is out of the box. As you saw, there's a couple different plastic packaging pieces just to keep the truck from moving when it's inside the sleeve. But other than that, once your truck is out of the box, you are ready to display it. Okay, sticking with the tried and true style of Diecast Emporium reviews, we will start with the decals and details, and then I'll show you some of the functionality that's associated with this model. As you can see, the decals, such as the DOT striping, is very sharp on the trailer. There are some small running light decals on the trailer as well, but they're a little hard to see. Moving towards the back of it, you can see more DOT striping, which really looks very good in person, especially with the chrome backdrop and the chrome color on the trailer. There is a little bit of paint 
chipping on mine, which is a little bit disappointing to see, but perhaps that can be fixed if we can get some chrome paint to match this, so I'm not too terribly worried about it. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it is worth pointing out that that is how mine was delivered to me. Moving on to the truck, you can see more impressive decaling in detail with the heartbeat decal that goes all throughout the truck, including up through the nose here where it dips down. So you have positive heartbeat here, negative heartbeat here. I like how that looks. Your chrome exhaust stacks look particularly good, along with your mirrors, your air horns, and your visor. Taking a look at the truck from the front view, you can see the Peterbilt logo here. It is small but legible. A chrome bumper guard, turn indicators on the side, and then your chrome grill as well. And there are two chrome air tanks present on the side of the truck. Looking underneath the model, if we turn it over on its side, there is some casted detail on the trailer. As you can see, this piping and line work underneath, as well as three different, I'll call them spouts, not sure what the technical terminology is, but obviously where the material would come out from the bottom of the trailer, those are modeled as well. The trailer itself is mostly plastic, but again, the color match and detail is good. Whereas the truck and cab appears to be mostly die cast metal with some plastic detail and accent pieces and the tires themselves appear to be wrapped in a composite rubber material that is the detail for functionality obviously the machine run the truck itself rolls well on its wheels you can turn the truck but there is no working steering and obviously if you wanted to you could separate the truck from the trailer by doing this just have to be a little bit careful when you move and separate the trailer and the trailer will sit on its landing legs by itself if you want to display the trailer either loaded on a flat car, again, if you are modeling it on your model railroad, or parked in a parked position. So that will conclude my review of the Peterbilt 389 sleeper cab with pneumatic tank. Again, this is a product by Trucks and Stuff in HO or 187 scale. Really, the most appealing part of this set, obviously, is not necessarily the truck, but obviously the trailer. And as you can see, again, I'm not locking this into position. I'm just seating it here for the end of the video. You can see that they do make a wonderful set, the two of them. And this trailer is a welcome addition to anyone who wants to expand their collection of on-highway 18-wheelers. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. You have heard my thoughts. I am interested in hearing yours. Please utilize the comment section at the bottom of this video. Let me know what you think about this set. Is this something that you're going to be adding or passing? And what company colors would you like to see maybe in the future uh, on the side of the trailer or maybe even on the truck as well that would mimic this type of vehicle in real life. Thank you again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, be well. I'll see you in the next review.